Hi, it's Matt Gizmo Guy here, and I'm pretty excited tonight because I have one of the original white Intel MacBooks, the very first generation that was released, and I've been using it for two and then some years, and it's starting to feel a little long in the tooth. So I'm going to do two things to speed this thing up. The first thing is, is I bought one of these new solid state drives. I bought an OCZ, a little 30 gig. It's rather small, but it was dirt cheap, 75 bucks after rebate. And this solid state drive is made completely out of memory chips, no moving parts, nothing to wear out um, fast fast, fast, and even this is one of kind of the mid-range sort of drives that are out there. It's not the ultra-fastest um, drive out there, but the cost of it um, was basically only about $2 per gigabyte, and it's going to breathe new life into my MacBook. I did have an originally a 60 gig hard drive in there, um, and it's going to be a little hard living on just 30 gigs, but for me, money was the point. I wanted to experiment and try a super fast solid state hard drive without spending a lot of money. There may be good reasons for that because the next generation of solid state drives that are coming out um, and are being released now um, are going to have twice the performance that this particular model has. So I'm experimenting but it may not be the time to dive in. The next solid state drive I do buy will be a much larger one and let me store extra stuff. I'm not a real pack rat. I don't have billions of songs. I don't steal movies and videos and bit torrents and all that shit. I, in fact, I hate having a hard drive full of a lot of stuff. So it's been good for me to go through my hard drive and um, just get rid of stuff I really don't need and focus on the stuff I do. Not a lot came in the box. Here's the hard drive itself. It's a little two and a half inch laptop drive with the same form factor and screw holes. Um, the nice thing about Apple's MacBook is you pop out the battery, remove three screws that cover the plate where the memory is, and then the hard drive itself has just a little tab and slides out. There's four screws that hold it in a tray. But I'm going to be able to swap this drive in literally in three minutes or less. Earlier today, um, I installed OS X, a clean OS X, to keep it lean and thin in my basic applications and restored my data. I have to be a little careful here because I am recording this onto this drive as we speak. But what I wanted to point out here is that I'm booted up off of this um, using, it has a built-in mini USB port. And if you are pondering buying a solid state drive, I think it'd be really smart. Not all of them have this, but it's really smart because that way you could copy or transfer or install your operating system on this before you end up taking your computer apart and mounting it that way. Um, what was really nice was OS 10. I put System 10.5 on here. It installed in about 20 minutes. Normally, that would take at least 40 to 60 minutes um, on my MacBook, and believe me, I've had to reinstall my operating system a couple times. It did it in literally half the time it took um, to normally because of the speeds of this drive, which are basically two to four times faster than a conventional hard drive, depending on whether you're reading or writing. As long as I was going to pop out my battery and remove the metal plate, I also bought uh, a memory upgrade kit. I currently have just a gigabyte of memory, which has been plenty for me to run a half a dozen things and run my little Dr. Mac, Mac Gizmo empire on it. Um, but I thought as long as I'm going to pop it open, memory prices are dirt cheap, I'm going to double it up to two gigs. There's a real good reason to want to do that when you get a solid state drive because when you run out of memory or get low, your computer swaps and uses virtual memory and disk space um, as you switch between and launch application programs and stuff. Because solid state drives tend to read data twice as fast as they write, so solid state drives, every single one of them at this point, writes slower. So by bumping up the memory and doubling that, what I'm going to do is help my computer minimize swapping out to disk and I'll get the ultimate performance out of the solid state drive. So that's good advice to anybody. If you can, 
and this only cost me about ten dollars about 22 bucks i think to double the memory in my mac that way i'll minimize the amount of writes and swapping to disk with virtual memory um, onto the solid state drive while i'm using it should also be noticed noted that um, for those who benchmark things, you'll see a lot on the internet, uh, particularly Windows XP people who are trying to tweak and uh, adjust configurations and customize stuff to try to get the best performance out of a solid state drive. As it turns out, overall, Mac OS X, whether it's 10.4 or 10.5 um, Leopard, tend to work fairly well. And um, at this point, there's not a lot of info on tweaking or customizing anything about OS X. Um, and in a way, that's okay because OS X tends to perform fairly well on a solid state drive without having to be a total nerd geek about it. All I know is I'm booted up from this thing. My computer starts up insanely fast. Even the big pig Photoshop elements launches in seconds. My web browser launches in two seconds flat. And one really neat thing about a solid state drive is when I switch between applications, when I have a half a dozen of them running, they also move real fast as well. So this was just an experiment. I probably should have bought a bigger one and coughed up a little bit more, but there was a decent rebate on this. It only cost me about 72, 75 bucks for a 30 gig solid state drive. This isn't um, really the future of disk storage. It is here today and as your next Mac, the one after that, this is going to become the standard silent, ultra fast, solid state memory chip drive technology. No moving parts, Lord knows in my career as an Apple consultant, I've thrown dozens and dozens of mechanical hard drives away. I'm hoping that the solid state disk is going to change the future of storage technology for all of us. That's it for today. I do have a little website, SSD Solid State Drive, so check out and see some of the bargains and deals on an SSD drive that you might be interested on in putting on in your Mac. All right, bye.